To really understand a fraction, we have to understand that there's two ways I can think about it. I can think about it in terms of iterating and in terms of partitioning. So let me give you some examples here. Let's start with probably the one you're most familiar with, and that would be partitioning. If I want to know what 5 6 looks like, I can take my whole, whatever that is, let's say it's this rectangle, and I can partition this into six equal pieces. Now, since I'm trying to find the fraction 5 6, I can shade in five pieces of this. What I have just done is I have partitioned my whole into six or six copies of one six, and then I've shaded in five of those six. You can think of partitioning like to partition, or we're gonna be cutting up our whole. Now let's talk about iterating. When we think about iterating, now we're actually thinking about, take a, an example of a pizza, for instance. If six people come with slices of their pizza and we put them all back together, now we have a whole pizza again. So we're sort of building it up, if that makes sense. Again, we can think of this as each of these copies of a sixth now gets put back together to make a whole. This is called iterating. Iterating is literally the amount that we have. When I take six copies of a sixth, I put them all back together, and now I end up with a whole again. These two topics go hand in hand with each other, right? Like we want students to be able to break a whole apart, cut it apart into equal pieces, but we also want them to be able to put them back together and understand that that also makes up a whole. I hope you found this video helpful and you've got a better idea on the difference between iterating versus partitioning.